In this example, the raw hexadecimal bytes of the complete instruction are followed by the instruction mnemonic, also known as the opcode, which is followed by the operands for the instruction. Raw hexadecimal bytes are translated into instructions using what's referred to as a disassembler, which are then interpreted by analysts in order to understand the operations being performed by the program. The mnemonics, or opcodes, are symbolic representations of the assembly instruction. In this case, this is the move mnemonic, which represents the move operation. This is followed by the operands used by the instruction. Operands are used right to left in the Intel instruction format. So in this case, the value one is being moved into the EEX register. Okay, so let's take a look at some Intel x86 assembly language. So here on the slide, you can see a reading memory example. So here we have a move instruction be performed on the EAX and EBX registers. Since there are brackets around the EAX register, that means that value is being dereferenced that is stored within the EAX register. So essentially what's happening here is the value that is stored at the memory address that is stored in the EAX register is being accessed and that 32-bit value is then being moved into the EBX register. Conversely, writing to memory, so we have a writing memory example here, using the move instruction, we have a value being written to the memory address, i.e. being dereferenced within EAX, and that value being written is hex B33F. So if we wanted to get relative offsets, we would use that instruction mentioned earlier, load effective address. So in this example, if we want to get a relative address to EBX, we would use load effective address with EAX, and then in those brackets, we can perform an arithmetic operation. So here we are adding 32 to the value of EBX. So whatever memory address or whatever value really is stored in EBX plus 32 is now being stored in EAX after that LEA instruction is executed. Conversely, we can dereference a relative offset from a specific address using the move instruction like before. However, within these brackets, we're just adding 32 to the EBX register, and then that value is stored in the EAX register. So again, because these are 32-bit registers, that is a 32-bit value that is being accessed at that register. Now, we will cover what the stack is in detail, but here we have a pop instruction. So this is how data is moved off the stack and we have a push instruction, which is how data is pushed onto the stack.